Mission is recovering after a deputy's canine attacked her. She'd only been on the job for three days. The Fulton County Sheriff's Office canine was boarded at the Roswell vet while its handler was out of the country. And tonight, Joe Hankey has the body cam video taken moments after the attack as a co-worker describes what happened. Well, Jeff, in the body camera video, we hear firsthand from a co-worker who pulled the dog off the woman being attacked. She says the canine named Ian had been boarded at their facility for five days before the attack and was acting anxious and pushy earlier in the day. You want to give them just a statement of what happened? As Roswell police officers listen, a veterinarian technician describes trying to put name tags on kennel dogs moments before canine deputy Ian attacked her co-worker. And I was in the back of the cage and she was in the front. His she says Ian then bit her co-worker in the arm and face, but they did not know Ian's commands and the tech resorted to grabbing his collar to get him to stop. I just choked him until he finally let go and I just kept it and I was able to slip out and close the door. Okay. How long would you estimate he was he was on the bite for? Could you, at least could you guess? Two, three minutes at least. Two or three minutes. Yeah, I mean, we were sitting there, we didn't know what to do. He just had her. Inside the Roswell VCA Pets are People 2 facility, first responders can then be seen wheeling the victim away on a stretcher. A 2017 publication from the Fulton County Sheriff's Office announced Ian joining the office and describes Ian as a then two-year-old Belgian Malinois with an abundance of energy and strength born in the Czech Republic who understands commands in Czech. His partner called him very loyal and obedient. But in the body cam video, the victim's co-worker says he seemed anxious. I handled him all day. He was pushy outside. He had kind of like trapped me against the wall and was jumping and like nipping up on my arm, but he wouldn't let me get up from underneath it. And kind of made me nervous. But I think he has a lot of pent up anxiety. He's been in the cage. He's been working. The body cam video shows officers then taking a look at Ian and his kennel. The woman attacked, according to a Roswell police report, only worked at this facility for three days before the attack. Another worker can be heard off camera saying Ian came to the facility on November 30th and should have stayed until December 9th. The handler that is, belongs to this dog is out of the country. Okay. So the officer that I did talk to is talking to his resource person, but he said he's dropping his canine dog off and he will come pick his dog up. And VCA sent me this statement saying our employee is currently receiving treatment and to respect her privacy, we cannot comment further. On behalf of all of our hospital staff, we want to express our concern and wish her well in her recovery. The Roswell Police Department tells us they are not investigating the attack as it involved another department's canine. A spokeswoman with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office tells me they're not commenting on this attack at this time. Jeff. Joe, thank you.